everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back. God of War Ragnarok. Any accessory slot is empty. Stay to your companion in the armor menu and equip accessories. Whatever you need, I'll create. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Okay, so... Ah, okay, here we go. Can't do anything with that. Oh, yes. Upgrade that. Ooh, that's him. Can't do anything with that though. Hey, that's fully upgraded. Okay, I need to boost my XP. Fair enough. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, can I not do anything else? Not a trace. Right. Okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Right. Excuse me, sir. Mind a squirrel. If I peek at you. I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It 
is the seed. Indeed. A seed <coughs> of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <sighs> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. All right. Now we have talking squirrels. Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Alfheim waits with a long and difficult journey. Training grounds of Ifelheim hold secret rewards. They hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. Uh, Alfenheim. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Swartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. Choose a realm to travel. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Yeah, Kratos isn't very chatty to you. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Hmm. Interesting. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. All right. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. A graffiti in Dark Elf territory next to a statue of their ancestors, the elves before the division of light and dark, the message being what exactly? And for who? Either the elves have seen this statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over the light. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Nope, nothing there. Bloody hell. Ooh, I see a crate, a chest. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Gee. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The Jewel of Alfheim is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unquelled diversity of life. From the majestic Afgufa and the Delsut from of the sands to the wide array of turtles and lizards found in that place. And the abundant herds of gazelle and ibex roaming the shifting dunes, all creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light. Take a moment to witness grandeur and reflect. Keep well thy realm. And the music, the song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Y you coming down? <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Ah. Was I who was going the wrong way? I hear something out there. Something big. In pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. There's one. There's two. Where's the third one? Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Yeah, maybe. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. By frost eyes. <laughs> is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looping on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. It's healthy. Uh, very well. <laughs> But it's giving me more health, so it was worth it. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Was in there? All right. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Hey. that will reflect an X through right indicated change in the no, it would target ah oh very clever Nice. Cheeky little shit. We'll go up there, but what's down here? Careful. Right, now we've got explodey ones. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor. Ah. 
Be a work of brilliance that, if, mis if, mi if misunderstood, proves the ignorance of the reader. Stick, rope, tar black, skin, handprint, baby crying, shower stink, death beach, grubs delicious, bomb piss. Okay then. <laughs> Actually, axe throw that ricochets between targets. Marks pressing R1 repeatedly. Ah, yes. So I'm now relearning skills I already learnt in the previous game. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir travelled to Alfheim where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough. Please, you don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I see Alphonse. Ow. Once we're inside, is there true? <laughs> Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No, just an optimist, old friend. Give me stuff. This. Tribute to Freya made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to walk. Charm is meant to absorb nightmares. <clears throat> the principle behind such magic is not a local one, but a theory picked up by Tyr on the western lands. The premise is a simple one, nightmares seek us out in the dark, hoping to call into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as this are meant to distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charm's threads until sunrise can incinerate the devious bastards. Nightmares, in this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Alright. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't oh. think we have the right tools for this one. I think you might be right there, friend. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. Built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. All right. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. 
So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Ah, a balance lock. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? We shall. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. I see. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. That's very useful. If a tad coincidental. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, it's the light. Ah. Ow. Whoa. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. I see. Give me all your hack silver. Ah, there we go. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Yeah, I get that impression too. Very pretty. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may. just to let these two do their thing, brother. Maybe you can turn those back in there. Oh. 
quite enough of that. Poor souls. Here, they came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. That's good. Wearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. Oh, okay. One way to get across, I guess. Good stuff. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah. Curious mind. Carry on. <laughs> uh, so I brought me back down here. Fair enough. Cool. We have a route back. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use alpha blood to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Yeah, great. Yeah, the light elves didn't really didn't bother us last time, if I remember this rightly. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah. You know, you just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. These things smell awful. Where? Little shits. Anything uh, interesting this way? We've got a, a new uh, law scroll. We'll read that later. That's a lot. I hear you, you little shit. the wrong way. Ha! Got you, little shit. going to be useful. Alright, let's crack on. Shall we continue? Yeah. So these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger. What do the dark elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Yeah, I see it. these poems oh there's always meaning if you look hard enough brother it's all in what you bring to it uh in which, in which uh yeah provides readers with their own tools for crafting stories visions after rest laying wait for explorers crafted by the imps and filled with music joy or horror among these fanciful realms lie endless creation and possibilities where the limit One's own imagination. I see. 
Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <clears throat> oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Could you knock that shit off? and the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs> That's true, he did. What's behind door number this one? They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. What's this? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Well, thank you. Although I detect, I detect sarcasm. Glad we explored. So am I. I'm finding lots of cool things. Back to it then. Yep. We're done here. Excellent. 
Let's continue our ascent. Yes. yes. Could you knock that shit off? Above you, watch out. Hateful little shits. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. <laughs> Read that one later. That's true, the Greeks were known for their uh, culture. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Enemy on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I'll meet you on the other side. You do that. I am a god of war. Violence is kind of in the title, mate. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. And swing over here. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick of later. This has been God of War Ragnarok, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.